Hey legends, welcome back to another Excel tutorial. In today's video, we're gonna be learning about centering across a selection. Now, this is a pretty niche little trick, but if you work in finance or investing, it's incredibly useful. In fact, even if you don't work in finance or investing and simply just use Excel, this is a neat little trick. So stick around and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, all I've done here is created a bit of dummy data. And I wanna show you what I'm talking about when I start talking about merging the center across selection. So in a traditional spreadsheet, if I wanted to move this March title to the center, I might highlight these cells and click merge and center, which is a default option in the formatting tools. Now, why this is a bad idea is because when you go to select a row, uh, or a column, you hit the March title and it goes ahead and selects all the other rows and columns uh, in, that, in that range. So it's really annoying if you wanna format something to have merge cells involved. So all you need to do is instead of use the merge cell and center, uh, you just highlight this range here and press control one or Apple one if you're using a Mac like I am. So this might look a little bit different to your PC, but trust me, all the options are there. You just might have to look for them a little bit. Uh, then go down to this center across selection uh, in the alignment tab. Uh, and what this is gonna do is move that March title uh, into the center across those cells, um, center across that selection, which is exactly what it says it does. And there you have it. You can select these cells now. And uh, when you go up through that title, you're not gonna go ahead and select that whole range, uh, which is very annoying and frustrating. Anyway, I hope that's helpful. If you like this type of content, make sure you drop a comment below, hit like, subscribe, check out some of my other videos, whatever you wanna do, uh, it all helps satisfy the YouTube algorithm. I don't just make videos about Excel. I also have some other interesting topics that I cover, which you might like to check out. Anyway, that's all for me today. I'll be back soon with another video.